Hello and welcome to some more Dyson Sphere program. I'm not quite sure why I said it like that, but I did say it like that. Uh, welcome, I am Trismagistus and this is Dyson Sphere program where I have been slightly busy but not particularly busy. So basically I have done a couple of trips at the end of the last stream, we were over on our gas giant, uh, not a gas giant, on our ice planet, on the edge of the solar system. And I have put on, so basically that now, I can't what, view it remotely, can I? Uh, oh no, I can view. There we go. So basically this, oh, it won't show me. Right, okay. It basically has the uh, wind turbines wrapping around it now. So that's basically all I've done there. I did ferry some more bits and pieces back over here as well, but that's it. So it's got its own sort of power set up, sort of pre-prepared. I did a little bit, you know, I put a few solar panels at the top and bottom as well, you know, the poles, but nothing else. Um, and then, oh, you can do that, are you? Okay. And then basically, I've just been popping back and forth a couple of times, because we'd run out of titanium crystals again uh, for the research um, that's why it's paused actually um, so I popped popped back and forth a couple of times to just grab some uh, well I got some silicon and a couple of lots of titanium and that's it basically so hopefully we're not far off getting a few interplanetary in fact I might as well start this up, up again um, a few interplanetary logistics up and, up and ready but it hasn't actually made one yet I could hand make one because there is enough sort of stuff. Where am I going? Over here. There is enough stuff in the system, as it were. There you go. See, so I grabbed some more silicon. But I think that was one of the reasons it was because that's literally that was empty. So it was only what was being produced from rocks that was in in the in the in the system. So um, I think that might have been slightly slowing this process down because, of course, they these things use not these things. These things use. Um, Oh no, they don't use silicon, do they? Unless does that use silicon? No, it doesn't, does it? Oh well, silicon went about mattered then. Um, but yeah, basically, so this has now made you know a stack of these, um, and it's just sort of filled up that. So once that gets to twenty, no, it's higher than twenty, is it? It'll be like two hundred as well. But once that's all stacked up, it'll then start putting them on the belt. Well, it'll then fill that up, which I should chop down. <laughs> And then put them on the belt, I think. Um, so we're a way off having a backlog, sufficient black backlog to get to get it to actually make them. I could take that machine out and it'll just start firing them over here. But uh, we have therefore not actually made an interplanetary logistics system yet. Um, we've got a bunch of these, though. So what I'm proposing to do today... Oh, oh yeah, I think they've added this. I don't, it never used to say this. Uh, but it's because, obviously, they're quite crucial to your um, whole thing. So if you accidentally deleted one and it didn't warn you, you could, you know, seriously cause yourself some serious problems. Um, also, I assume it would explode all of the content out onto the onto the planet as well. So what we're going to do, say, basically today, is mess about with... I, I mean, just to know, I still have a cold. I didn't stream yesterday, Factorio. Sort of skipped it because um, I could feel my voice going on the end of the Saturday one. To be fair, the Saturday one I was just rabbiting on and on and on because that was the post mortem. But um, I mean, I rabbit on and on and any <laughs> on all of these. But um, I could feel my voice was really quite painful and it didn't it didn't get much better yesterday. Uh, but today it's not too bad. Um, so I think we'll be all right for the stream. I may have to do a bit of coughing and. Sort of nose blowing and stuff, but um, I mean, it's not, I've not actually felt that bad with this particular cold. Um, it's been one of those where it's more just annoying, bunged up nose and you know, sore throat and stuff, um, rather than really being a feeling under the weather as such, like I did last time. But yeah, so basically, what I'm thinking is we mess about with like blueprints and logistic systems and stuff. Um, just so that I can, because that's sort of the whole point of this series was to try and get my head around that whole aspect of the game. Because 
I haven't really played with that before. So we're kind of getting to the territory where it makes more sense. Because I didn't find them, and maybe it's just thing experience, lack of knowledge, etc, etc. Um, I didn't find them to be that good over and above the shift copy. Um, for this, you know, this sort of throw it all together type of thing. So, so I don't know, maybe, maybe... I mean, I think they'll make more sense for logistic systems because this is how we're going to play the game now, basically. Um, we're going to be popping, pop, popping, popping down them all over the shop, really. Um, you know, to mine up resources and, and all that sort of stuff. So what, what we kind of need to do uh, is find uh, a nice patch or two um, and start, like, as I say, planning out how I want to do... So this is probably a good one. I've got plenty of landfill. And I have him put down the solar... Solar. I keep doing that. I don't know why I keep saying solar panels instead of the wind turbines. But I mean, put down the wind turbines on the other planet. I've got loads of loads of soil. Um, so I think we'll come over here and we'll use this as sort of a, a planning thing. Um, we'll put some miners on it. I'm not anticipating the miners as such. Miners being part of the design as such um, but what we can do we can include the okay I've lost it oh here we go there we go we can include the belts feeding in I think um, we can also set up copper copper's a fairly simple in fact why don't we do that one first why don't we do copper you see things the things I sort of don't know are things like um, does it include have I not got any large chests? Oh, I haven't, have I? I did try and stock up a little bit, but I've obviously not... No, I haven't. Uh, I've not grabbed everything, so we we need some large chests, I think. Do we? No, I don't think we do, do we, really? Because we can use the... You can basically use the logistic systems. It's one of the things... I made loads of chests uh, in my first game. And then it was like, but... I'm just going to use these to sort of clear the area out, basically. And then it was like, but actually, what you do... Why are you not... Oh, is there some terrain stuff here? Yeah, there we go. Actually, what you do is you use the planetary logistics thingies as chests, basically. So, um, so they were basically pointless. I mean, you can kind of... You can, oh. Is it not on the area? No. It can virtually use the... Um, like, you can make about sort of 50 chests or so. And that will kind of sort you for the entire game. Uh, let's take all of that out, actually. So we'll just sort of use it to get rid of it. Uh, clear them out. Because they don't mine stuff if you when you do it like this. You know, they, I, my inventory's not filling up. It shouldn't be filling up with, um, you know, the chests, uh, the the wood and stuff. So we probably need a bit more room. Uh, so let's sort of. I think when I build the thingy here, the actual. I'm actually logistics things, but yeah, it's things like I imagine it doesn't include. You know, drones or settings and stuff like that, but it might do. Um, what we got? Maybe a bit more space here. The planets tend to be quite heavily watered. I found, you know, the the Earth-like ones. Seems to be a surprising amount of water on them. But then I suppose, I mean, Earth is obviously about seventy percent water, isn't it? So. Yeah, so we'll chuck down some miners first. So I'm not actually setting this up as such, but um, we can get a few in. Uh, so I tried to... Oh, what have I done? Stuffed. Trying to... Grab some stuff, but I've probably not got... Oh, why did that not go plop down? Probably not got very many, not got enough um, miners and that. Uh, 
raw things to make too much. Um, right, so. How am I thinking about that this would work? Well, I'm thinking, you see. So this is copper. And what we do is like the blueprint. It's going to matter, isn't it, whether it's, you know, across a, you know, one of these discontinuities. So we should try and build it, you know, in one of these consistent sections, I guess. So maybe if I put this here. And the way I'm thinking about them working, it probably doesn't make sense to include the belts in it for these. But we'll have to stick them in anyway, just to get it running. Because hmm. what I'm thinking is, I had, have I got any splitters? I have, okay. So, we've got three... Okay, so we could chuck, say, these three together. This is going to need to move up a, a bit, I think. But So, do this. I'm, ob I'm gonna, obviously only going to do it with... Like level one belt and stuff, and not. And there's there's another question: Can you just upgrade blueprints, like you can in Factorio? So, I'm not going to put that in because I think I'm going to have to move it slightly. But we should have another splitter. So if we put that in there. So I'll try and do the full, you know, two hour stream. If it ends up descending into coughing fits and whatever, then I'll I'll knock it on the head. And I'll be alright for next week, but uh, in fact, let's get rid of that as well. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm thinking I need to move that up. Oh, does it not let you, okay. Hmm, I guess it's because of the warning. Uh, right, so, need to move this up a little bit, so I'll put it here. I'm guessing the maths is going to be quite important in terms of Hmm. In terms of the, oh, hello, Grim. Uh, otherwise, you're still not feeling. Yeah, no, not great. I mean, I'm not bad, bad. You know, it's not one of those colds where you're like, you know, um, you know, suffering really badly, sort of thing. It's just, um, you know, got a cough and bunged up nose, basically, and it's all a bit, bit tedious, really. But, um, but yeah, well, uh, we'll try and. Do the full two hours today. Uh, it's just really whether I start end up coughing because I was, I had a couple of meetings today and ended up having to excuse myself and go for a big coughing fit halfway through. Okay, in fact, can I stack up any more upgrades? I don't think I can. I think I'm at the stage where yeah, I need purple, 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 everything. <laughs> Purple. Well, I guess I could do a few of these if I'm messing about with blueprints, couldn't I? Yeah, stick one of them on. Oh, that needs. Oh, that's yellow. We've got yellow. That's purple. Make a core level four. We can't do because we need purple. Purple. Requires make a level four. They're obviously pointless at this stage. I mean, we could do them, but we haven't got any logistics running. That's what I'm researching at the moment, is it? Oh, no. What am I researching at the moment, then? Oh, it's the inventory capacity, isn't it? So I could do some more of them. Mm, not really fancy, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So we're kind of at a stage where... Pretty much done everything I want to or slash need to. Technologies I just want to leave until we've got some proper production going. Um, I 
yeah, I'm just going to leave them because we need to be bringing lots more. <laughs> Did I get the hexes out when you got back? Um, no, no, it was all it was online meetings anyway. But no, it was. Um, it's definitely a cold. I've had, I've done a. What's the one where you poke it? I mean, lateral flow is it? I can never remember what they call them. Um, I've done one. I mean, I I knew it was a cold anyway because. Um, I caught it off someone at work, and they, it was the cold with them. But, but no, there was no, uh, no. Uh, I wasn't labelled with unclean, and you know, made to wear a plague bell or anything. There was no, none of that. They were. Uh, it's a bit more of a progressive company than that. So, <laughs> right. So yes. Um. Okay. So how am I going to do this? So. Actually, let's power this up and get it producing some actual stuff. Because I'm actually wondering... Hmm. Because the math... I say that the maths is actually going to be more important than I was the thinking was. Than I think... Than I was thinking it would be. Um... Horrible. Yeah, they. I. I. I've never. Sh I'm not sure that I've ever really, like, done one properly, as it were, because you're not meant to actually, like. It's all a bit gross, this, isn't it? But, not meant to actually like touch the inside of your nose. You're meant to actually like, you know, stick it all the way down or something. And I've. I don't think I've ever managed to really do that properly, but, they seem to work. Um. I was gonna say. Are you? How? How is your? Power off cannot charge. Oh, right. Can it not charge from that? Okay. Uh, how is your mega basing going? Because you were... Uh... Uh... Oh, why is that gone now? Because uh, you're asking about the... Stats on uh, Saturday. Is that charged now? Yeah, there we go. Um, and I got some of them in case it does include... I don't think it would include them in the blueprint, would it? So, um, for anyone who isn't aware, obviously I've fed... I've attached these, the belts, but until you actually set what you want to be stuck... Because it's effectively like three chests. In fact, I think they're bigger than chests, but um, it's effectively like three chests. So until you set what you want to be in it, even if you put the belts... It's not like a Factoria chest where it dumbly just puts it in. You have to actually filter it, basically. So you have to say, right, I do want copper ore to go in on slot one. Um, but what I was thinking about is what well, might be best if I do just to test it, is make this three lanes coming in. And then this could always be a three lane you know, entry thing. Yeah, let's do that. So if we chop Say that one off. And that one, if it'll let me. Go around this corner. No, of course it won't. Of course it won't. Wind type of turbines in the way. Right, so if we stick these two together. Like that. Why are you not picking? Why are you picking the wrong thing up? Right, so if we change that to go in there, and that to go there, okay, okay. And you don't want them. You got your purple science built yesterday and blueprinted, just need to transfer it over. Cool. Uh, yeah, so three belts worth coming in. Now, how much does three belts supply? Oh. 
Oh, bum. Why? Oh, can you not hand insert anymore? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Just clicking on the wrong bit. Yes, so, three uh, three belts. Oh. So you're still going for 5,000 science a minute, or... Because I think that's what you said your target was. Uh, what am I looking I'm looking for... So you're going to have to excuse me being a bit muddy-headed today. Six a second. Although we're not actually quite getting that. And then the actual production... Here we go. <coughs> uh, the actual production is one to one, basically. So we've got three lanes coming in, three lanes going out, and this handles. Do, do, do this handles. He looks for it. Production speed one. So it's at at parity. Okay. Okay. So basically, let's just put them down. So we would need two, three, four, five, six. So six would handle handle a single bell. So if that's, this is obviously at yellow speed. You know, default number one speed. So if that's taking one per second, yeah. So six handles a single belt. So we need 18, but we also need to be able to feed them in and out. Now, what I'm thinking, what am I thinking? So I'm not actually sending three belts worth in, really, so it won't be a proper test. But Because what we could do... Because if we've got three, if we've got three coming in, then we need twelve coming out, don't we? No, six coming out. Sorry, three, which is two sides of the the thing in theory. If I squish them all together, do I want to squish them all together? Because if we put say. Which is more extendable? Which is more extendable? Because I could just have three... What I did in my first playthrough was have them, you know, all long lengthways, basically. Because then you can get more... You know, you can just stack them up sideways. You know, have loads of these things, you know, going sideways, basically. Because if we have three, you know, some in the middle... Then they, be, you know, it becomes a cross shape, which is less less easy easy to man manage. Had to go with a twelve beacon because it works much better. Uh, it uses one gigawatt of power without smelting. If it can supply it, if it's stable at five point four, uh, yellow tonight or all week. <laughs> yes, it'd be happy with five thousand sites a minute. All my signs so far. Two full blue, belt, blue belts or five thousand four hundred. Uh, creative mode. Yeah, it the the thing I'd say with, with creative mode um, that I sort of found is it's really good for the designing, but um, it gives you a false. Well, like you said with a steel, it's an awful lot of steel to to provide, um, and the power as well. You know, it's an enormous amount of power to su to supply. So. One of the things, one of the slight traps I got into, particularly with my purple design, which as I showed on Saturday, doesn't quite work properly. Uh, but one of the traps I got into um, was, um, you know, you just fill, you know, you use the chests and stuff and you just fill the belts. Um, and, you know, it then works because the belts are full. But you may well probably not actually be filling the belts, you know. Um, and not from a, you know, you may need, and that means you've got to think about in terms of how many train stations need or, or whatever. 
um, in order to provide all of that material. So, you know, it might like like my blue design should work perfectly, but there's a weird effect going on where um, basically, although it's one belt's worth of iron plate it needs, because the ones at the front grab too much material, the ones at the back get starved and they're not really running properly. Um, and it's things like that that. You can only really, you either completely simulate everything and you do the trains and the belts and everything. So it's all you're doing is maybe faking, you know, um, m mining or something like that. Or if you do like I did with local smelting, you fake the train dropping it off and then you put the stuff in on the belts as using whatever system you're going to. Um, because I say you get quirks with balances and unevenness and things that you don't notice if you just stick a a full belt in you know that may not actually work properly because you may not actually be able to do that so yeah as i say that's the only thing i would say about creative mode it's really really good you know not in any way saying it isn't but um but yeah it is a bit sort of um it can go give you a false sense of security i think is what i'm trying to say um so I suppose one of the things here is do I want to because what I'm actually thinking right in terms of a design for this is we have the um iron would that work no that wouldn't work would it I guess I could feed it there But what I, was in, what I was thinking with these, you see, is because you can obviously put the stuff there, but it's so, it's useful, or when I did them, to have local delivery as well, not just send everything by bots. So you have output as well as input. Hmm. I've been very dithery. Uh, right, so. If this was, say, a, say, six... Uh... Two, four, six. I mean, I could make it. I could just do the nine. Would that work? How would I expand it, though? Four, six, eight, nine. So you see, we had nine smelters in a row. And you have the output... All the way around. See, because we could have the input there. Oh, I could double them up, actually, couldn't I? That's a point. So if we have the raw copper there, let's not actually attach it. So we have the raw copper there, one, and raw copper there. And then I get rid of these. Oops. And so they can draw from both lanes then. So, not there. First one there. Is it four for the... Why didn't let me do another one? I put that in there. No, it doesn't cover it properly, does it? Okay. Oh, I'm going to hit this bleeding. Hmm. Um, maybe I don't leave as big a gap there. Like that. Why am I leaving that gap at all? It's in case I need to make, you know, bring belts round basically. Which I do, because that's how I'm going to do the output. So why don't we put that one in? Oh, except I can't, because it'll be too much. I 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to double side it anyway, aren't I? Okay. So, if I move that one over. Do that. So this is the output from all of them. What are you doing? Okay. That's oh. What are you doing? And that one goes in there. So that's two lanes. Okay, okay. I think I'd rather have them all on one side. It's going to be very, very dither dithery. And then... No. Yeah, we're happy with... Uh, uh, let's see. Purple has seven train stations in. One out. I use the duplication cargo wagon for testing. Okay, cool. I'm mean, going say that's a mistake I didn't make because I just used the you know the duplicating chests. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I just used the duplicating chests, which meant that basically, um, I, I say I was giving a, myself a false impression of you know this is a full lane of iron, this is a full lane of iron, this is a full lane of iron, and then when I came to do it um, in the game. I was like completely, um, I hadn't worked out how many trains I needed, so I ended just ended up just basically guessing and slapping in as many as I thought maybe I would need. Um, and that then escalated the number of outposts I need, because um, I didn't really talk about it on, um, on the Saturday, but basically there's like, some things have far too much material. And some things have far too little. Um, so if we leave a nice big gap there. Yeah. Um, and I should have, you know, done the maths, basically. Um, so how can we arrange these so that it's going to work? So... If we have an out there, why have I done that? That was a dumb place to put that. What we want is an in there. So the first one's there. I mean, I could do it as blocks of three, couldn't I, thinking about it? Does that make more sense? Because that would be very... Ex oh, you've missed one. That would be very extendable. Hmm... I'll have to do something funky with the inputs. So if that was one coming out... Oops. That. Needs to be further up, doesn't it? Bum. 
Okay. Oh, no, yeah. No, it doesn't, because I've put that there. What am I putting in and out? Unless I just build these with two in mind. I think that's probably what I'm going to do in the end. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So it's just two sets of smelters, basically. Yeah. I think I like that idea more. Because then I can have this go... One, two, three. This way. Yeah, I like that better. And we put the same thing on the other side. Um. Yeah, okay. So, one, two, it's all out. Well, it's gone. Let me just make this Like that. Like that. Like that. You in the middle. Because then when I just upgrade the belts. And it also gives me the option of bringing stuff out much more easily. Yeah, I like that idea more. Those there. Is that even? No, that's not even, is it? Yeah, I like that idea. So it's we can include that bit in the blueprint. Yeah, I like that. I thought that using them, but I remembered something you said. Yeah, it needs fourteen layers of steel, so that's going to be a mission in itself to deliver that that much. Yeah, it's I say, it's just bonkers. It's like um. I say steel is one I would still do as twelve beacons because it's just, it's just, um, because it's it's not the the power demand for going twelve beacons is I say as you saw on the power charts and stuff it's just insane it just it's like a exponential curve in the amount of power you need to feed all those beacons, um, but for steel. The fact that one beacon, uh, sorry, one smelter is then so much faster is beneficial. Whereas for normal iron and copper, I don't think it's really that beneficial. Um, you know, it obviously makes them faster as well. It's like the difference. So to fill a belt, actually, that's uh, got a bit funky on this. To fill a belt with iron smelters. I would, if it, if it's confusing that you know I mean furnaces I think it actually calls them, but I always call them smelters basically. But um, it's that one for the recipe, isn't it? No. There we go. So copy that one. Um. Lost my train of thought. No, can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, yes, the the 12... The extra power demand for it for regular iron plate and copper plate, to me, or, you know, having done it, is not really justify... justify I say, it needs, like, nine to fill a belt with iron for iron plate. But if you do eight, it's like, is it... 
I think it's 12, I think. It might be 11 to fill a belt. And it's like... Therefore, you do technically sort of need more... Um, you know, it's bigger. Except it isn't, because you can do squish, much more squish designs for, for Iron Plate. But it's basically... It's like... With 12 beacons, there's like... Um, you know, a minimum footprint, which is really big. Um, and obviously they get that extra four beacon boost. But when you do eight beacons, you actually can hit more um, smelters with the same number of beacons. Um, and essentially, and I say, you're only hitting them with fewer ones anyway. So when you do the maths, you're actually like, it's like half as many beacons. And it's like the fact that you need, you know, sort of three extra smelters, um, obviously that's an extra cost in terms of building them and you know all those sorts of things but the fact that it do, it costs you you know half as much power <laughs> so I'm, I'm spitballing the numbers but you know is it means that you don't then have to produce an extra 500 you know um um uh, solar panels and accumulators you know so the slight co extra cost of you know a few more inserters few more furnaces um, is far out is far better than the extra cost of all the power production um, and and get especially and with time and all that so all those factored in as well eight beacon is definitely the way to go for iron and copper but for steel because you've got to fact you know it's like five times as long so it, it does make benefit you know and like you say setting up that much smelting my steel smelter is eight beacons and makes one full. There you go. So, um, yes, yeah, say so, so. You know, I well, you know, do you do you sort of thing. But um, I say I think twelve beacons is probably better for steel, but definitely not for anything else. Um, that's interesting. It does a full blue belt with eight beacons for steel. Hmm. Um. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. Except I'm not because I didn't put. Did I? Why are you not working? You're not working because I never set these. Oh, I can never remember. Right. Here you go. I'll do that. And that. And then that and that. It should kick in. Yeah, so it's filling that belt. That's good. Cool. Okay. And it's then more extensive it's more expandable, I think. Because these are only going to consume half a belt, but it'll produce a, a, a single belt. Yeah, okay, right. So the question then is blueprinting, basically. So uh, don't we use Control C? Here we go. And then I have to highlight this like that. Like that. Oops. Can I not rotate round? Okay. No. Oh dear, no. Do include that, please. Yeah, so I have those belts. No. So that's the input, basically, which I connect up. Now, what am I going to call this? I'm going to call this. What? Uh, copper smelting but if we call it loggy copper smelting blueprint save path on the old text just the same I think icon layout one to one Oh yes, of course you put the icons on, don't you? So we want that one. 
and we want no that hasn't worked how do I add another icon So it's got all 12 of those in, it's got 5 of those in, 1 of those in, 24 of those in, 132 of them. So we want to save the blueprint. Uh, how do I delete that? Can I, oh, new book. So if I call this Second Impressions, which is what I've called the series... Okay, and then I can put that in there. No. Open that. No. I know you can do it with with the files. So I'll have to do that. Because I think that's just a folder, isn't it? New empty blueprint. No, you're not going to let me drag and drop that over? Mask up existing planning and create a blueprint. Oh no, didn't want to do that. Okay. Quit mode. So I should now have. There we go. I say, why is that not. If I just open up Exploder, then I should just be able to move that in there. There it is. I just delete that. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So then we would come along and we would slap this down. Cool. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Four smelter arrays, 124 smelters, 179 beacons, and takes iron just under four full ore belts to fill one steel belt. Okay. Just about fit four of those in one city block with stations. Right, okay. Is there... I've never really played with um, city blocks. I know um, uh, Nilaus does... Do I want that to be supply now? Should really be demand, I guess. But I don't know if it copies those things in. Nilas is like I don't I honestly don't know if he was the inventor of it, but um I know he's a big fan of doing that way of doing it. I'd quite like to see what happens when I plop it down, you see. But the trouble is, I've now filled it <laughs> with copper. And I haven't really got any big chests. Let's go and get a big chest while it chunks through some of that. Um, Where the heck are the chests? No? Uh, is the... Is there a step? What I was going to say, what I was going to ask is, is there like a standard size for a city block? Because I assume it's based on, I don't know, something like radar coverage or logistics bot, you know, um, you know, logistics, um, a, a roboport rather, a roboport size or something like that. Or maybe it's a certain number of power poles across. Um, I say I'd quite like to give it a go, but I'm not sure if I want to sit through a load of tutorials and <laughs> do it, or just give it, you know, give it a go myself. You know, from first principles, as it were. Right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for big chests, which are where? Where the heck are big chests? They must be after steel. I'm fit. I know I haven't got any because I've chucked them all in the planet. 
uh, up on one of the planets. Right. Over here? Ah, here we go. That's small chest. No, that's big chest. There we go. So grab a bag. I'm just going to chuck the stuff in the chest, basically. Um, and then, you know, pick it up and put it down. Just to see whether it keeps, you know, like, recipe selection or not. Because I don't know whether that's... Because I can use that for iron as well, in theory. If it doesn't, and I just set, have to set the recipes. But I don't know if that's how it works or not. Of course, now I don't even know where it is. It's got to be over here, isn't it? Because we're working on... Is that it? No, that's not it. Oh, there we go. So it's over that way. Not very good at keeping things in order, so it helps me keep structures. Yeah, yeah. So it's... um. I think he does like a hybrid, doesn't he, really? So it's not pure city blocks. He does actually run a bus up the middle of the city blocks. Um, I believe. Um, and then the city blocks is where like the train drop-offs are and stuff like that, I think. Uh, how am I going to do this? Let's just chuck, chuck some of that stuff in there. Uh, I should have limited them and should have, you know, I should have stuck it down to a lot so it didn't fill up with tons of stuff. But I didn't do that, so get rid of that. Just chuck it in there. In there. So if we set that back to that. It'll fill those up. Just process them through. I mean, one of the reasons I use a, I, you know, as you see, mine's just more a straight, straight bus built, you know, slap bang in the middle of of the thing. But um, one of the reasons I do that is for organ, is just for the organisation, basically, um, similar sort of thing. That um, ha I've worked out the way I li I like to do it. Um, and I have the science all at the bottom and and then sort of thematic organization basically so um, you know I put the rail stuff together I put the power stuff together um, how much oh you've got loads of stuff okay let's just delete it all oh uh, yeah That. Take that out. Right, so, in theory, let's just chuck these in here. Get that right. So, in theory, I can take this blueprint to another planet. Wait, why is it not letting me? Am I being numb? How do I select the blueprint? Blueprint. Oh, there we go. We have to double click it. Okay. Then I come along. I mine up an ore patch. Slap that down. The bots get busy, so it does include recipes. Okay. that stuff down <laughs> yeah it pro properly includes everything okay but not the bots not the, the actual drones okay okay Here we go, so if it's a case of deciding how big you want it, what you want uh, it to do, 
Uh, rail city block 200 by 200 with radar, rover ports and circuit network. Okay. <laughs> Good looking base. Um, if I do mine like that, it would end up a mess. Yeah, I mean, I did actually, one of the things I want to do, um, I, don't know if, I don't know if you've seen my um, defences, but one of the things I really enjoy is making defences um, that look good. I mean, that's a bit tricky uh, in Factorio because you don't have a great deal of... In vanilla Factorio, because you don't have a lot of sort of options, really. Um, in fact, did this... Because this really should be demand, shouldn't it? That's it, yeah. Uh, you don't have a lot, too many options in terms of making stuff look that good, if I'm honest. Um, no, cool. uh, yeah, and so, but I, you know, sort of do my best as it were. But often I play with the Dectorio mod, um, which is, oh, I'm there. Uh, can I put stuff in these? I can, can't I? No? No, I don't like that. Okay. Yeah, the Dectorio mod, which is basically, a, you know... Um, uh, you know, you can do coloured concrete and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it has prettier lights, which are like set into the ground and stuff. So what I'd quite like to do at one point is just do a playthrough where I basically try and make a attractive looking factory um, that actually looks like a factory. I'd probably go something like a factory town approach um, you know where you have you know a big fact well a big a factory making you know um, maybe all the rail stuff all together and a separate factory making all the military stuff and a factory making uh, maybe red science or something like that and do it like that but not do it on the scale of a mega base um, so not you know, thousands, maybe a, maybe a target a thousand science packs a minute, because I know that's sort of the, that's kind of a, you know, I think that's the, you know, um, dividing line, as it were, that people tend to think of that as being a mega base. Um, but actually a bus can easily do a thousand science a minute. Um You know, in reality. Um, so what I'm thinking, because say because this did have all of the recipes in it, I could eat, I could make a generic one, but it would make some more sense, I think, to do. You know, an iron one, because with iron we've got the slight tweak that actually you need um, the magnets which are made from the raw iron. So we kind of need a different one for that as well. I can never remember whether they're made in smelters or not, but we'll see. But yeah, I'd quite like to do just a... It's an, obviously, it wouldn't be vanilla, because um, Dectoria would be switched on. But um, In fact, where are the dividing lines? Yeah, it wouldn't be, um, you know, vanilla, but it'd be, you know, I wouldn't. Uh, I'd do it with normal sort of recipes and um, and that sort of thing. And I say, try and make it look like, a, you know, an actual set of factories, basically. Because one of the things I've discovered with Satisfactory is I really enjoy the sort of design side. I'm not very good, but... You know, making factories that look like factories is is kind of where Satisfactory excels. Um, as I say, there's people who make amazing looking stuff. <laughs> and I'm, you know, some caveman with a stick, basically, in comparison. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I was like, um, with Update 5 coming out, I was messing about with the... Uh, um, what should we call it? Um, 
railways basically trying to make my railways look like they were they're actually actual railways you know rather than I, mean, I suppose it's a monorail rather than a railway technically but um, rather than just being sort of slapped have I got enough juice I haven't have I okay um, rather than just being because you have to or you don't have to but if you're gonna snap things and make straight lines and stuff it's a bit easier with the um, foundations in satisfactory because stuff just automatically snaps to the foundations and so when I was building the railway it was much easier to use them to actually build it especially now that there's the zoop um, you know you just build a straight bit of bait you know um, you know concrete floor basically and attach your railway to it and off you go but it looks terrible you know it just looks like you know a really weird floor that's suspended 10 foot off it you know well more than 10 foot 100 you know 10 meters off in the air so you then delete that and what it lets you do is you attach um like the tubular frame things to the bottom of the railway and you can basically you know zoop down um from there so basically you know you build a, a platform stick your railway on top delete the platform and then you can build a um, a thing below it that looks like a supporting beam um, I say and it's you know it didn't take me long and it looks okay I mean it's not I say there was what somebody had posted on the reddit today and they built an actual suspension bridge <laughs> for their you know for their railway and I'm like I could never even try that um, and obviously it's not doing anything and that's the thing with satisfactory you know they, they, don't, they don't really do anything the builds you know those walls and stuff but it looks really good and it looks like a factory um, oh hello uh, dr house md 22 afternoon uh, welcome to the stream uh, someone says that sounds like a cool idea it makes me laugh but I don't think I've ever gone over 250 sites for minutes okay um, the build isn't quite vanilla. I have a few quality of life mods. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... Um, the thing with, I say, the thing with a, a sort of bus is it's basically, once you stick on the beacons and the modules, um, it ends up, even if, you, like, you know, you just put a row on the side, um, you get 500 science per minute out of it, basically. If you're feeding in sort of four lanes of iron, four lanes of copper... That's the kind of number you can kind of do just just by doing that basically. Um, I say, as you said, you know, if you struggle with organising and you end up with too much spaghetti, no, you can't do that. But um, you know, I've done it so many times that I'm sort of well enough sort of practised. Um, that yeah, you just sort of stick, and that's five hundred a minute. So you can get a thousand then simply by sort of doubling everything up. Um, I mean, you don't even need to quite double it, but if you just, you know, add twice as much on, suddenly you're doing over a thousand science a minute. Um, so it's not that difficult to achieve, really, once you've, um, you know, worked out how to do a bus and fill it. That's the big thing, filling the bus with all the material. Um, uh, right. So I need to swap all these over to iron ingots and copy it up again, I think. Uh, clear and reset, clear and reset. It's probably better to do it generically, but no, it's... What key is it for the... Is that copy? I'm not sure why they picked those two keys for copy and paste. There we go. And then this needs to be... Iron... Why won't you let me... Where's the indicator thing? Oh, has it just gone weird because I've changed those? Why is it holding the... Huh? No, no. Okay. Why are you not? 
it's keeping the filter on it for some reason. Oh no, the filter doesn't matter, does it? Because that's the input. So it's just got that because that's what it's adopted. Let's just stick a little bit of iron ore in. See what it does. So just grab four of them. Make that iron ore. Chuck that in. Oh. Chuck that in. So then... That would be iron ore. Let's see what it does. Yeah, I mean, I tend not to bother with a lot of quality in my mods. The one that I do like. Yeah, there you go. So it's accepting the... Oh, it's not accepting it, is it? Because... <laughs> it's obviously just trapped in there. No. I don't want to hook it up because I'm... This is just replacing the thing. I want to do the... You know, the magnets. I don't have to clear it out. So if you chuck those in there... Get a bit... Why have you left that alone? Oh, there you go. So it has automatically flipped over. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so it's just filtered it to the input because it's an input. Right. So I better do the same, hadn't I? So if I actually stick a miner on. So I need to do the other same on the other side. So this would be... You're not going to give me the options? There you go. They're very difficult to find them, I think. So do that. And then that. And now we'll stick some miners on. Find them, there we go. Like this. No, you're not. Not gonna let me put that there. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's just I can't be bothered with the splitter balancing thing. Uh, oops. Uh, why have you not put that in there? They're lazy, the bots, you see. You've you got to keep your eye on them. Okay, so oh, oh, I put that entirely the wrong way around. Okay. Oh, it didn't make. Oh, I didn't do that, does it? Okay, okay. There you go. Happy now. Oh, okay. So that switch all of them over. We are producing our own plate. We are producing our own plate. We are filling up where we don't want to. That's fine, I'll just cut the lines again. Cool. Yeah, okay. So, we now want to do that. We want a new blueprint. Oh no. I have to... wait a minute. That's the wrong way of doing it, isn't it? No? Okay. Two by one. Okay. How do I actually... Edit. Copy? No.
So let's be adding a new blueprint. There must be some way. Because this is just editing the, the thing. How do I? There's got to be some way. Delete the blueprint. New empty blueprint. Double click to use. Okay, I am double clicking. This is not what I would class as using. Maybe that's just for where you're copying a blueprint in. Okay. No, I have to hit Control C. There we go. So I highlight this. Here we go. Yes, this is it. I remember now. Like that. Right. What did I call the other one? It was like loggy iron smelt. I don't remember. No, that can't be right. Okay. Two by one. So on one of them. On one of them. I want to save the blueprint, and then we want to realise it won't let me do that again without opening Exploder and putting it in there. So it was Loggy Dash Copper Smelting. Okay, so it should be Loggy. No, Loggy Dash Copper Smelt Copper Smelting Dash Iron Smelting. Okay. Okay. Uh, what I find handy is far reach, uh, but squeak through is good too. Yeah, I mean, those are the sort of, um, you know, ones I have used before. But I don't know. I, I just, um, I'm not actually that bothered by, I mean, squeak through is, is useful because why they've set the hitboxes on trees to be like <laughs> 10 times the size of a building I don't know but um, they have done um, but things like walking on pipes and stuff that it lets you do I'm not a fan of um, but I, I fully you know 100% understand why people do but for me it's just not that much of a problem I don't you know I'm not massively fussed about it what why have you done that quit mode there we go let's have another looking exploder Loggy. yeah so it's in there right so what we really want to do <laughs> is turn this into a uh, producer clearing reset there we go of these things magnets and they have a different production speed. We'll get there eventually. Right, so these things take one and a half seconds to make instead of one second. So we can't support as many machines. Am I fussed about that? Hmm. Oh, no, sorry, it's not that you can't support as many machines, it's you can support more machines. Or it takes more to fill a belt, sort of thing. That's, that's a better way of saying it. So how many more? Half as many more. So we've got six. So it's nine, which is unfortunate. So we could just add on 
It's one and a half per thing, isn't it? Extra to fill, to use up the iron, iron ore that's coming in and fill up the belt. We can't add one and a half more. Excuse me, and two on one side and one on the other is pretty ugly. So I think we just add two more. Okay, so let's extend that. Extend that. See, what I'm anticipating is that I'll also have a blueprint that's that, basically. In fact, I should do that, shouldn't I? Might as well. That I can then just stamp down over and over again. You know, if, well, not over and over again. You know, when I double, when I update the belt, I'll just, you know, stamp down an extra one of these and then update all the belt. Because I don't know if you can do that in the blueprint or not. Uh, right, so we want two more on each side. Which can't actually be supported. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, could I do... No, it wouldn't make sense. I was going to say, I could do two on one side and one on the other. but As in, two over there and one over here. But, yeah, I don't like that. Right, let's extend this out a bit. I don't think that's far enough, but... Here we go. One, one. Grab that. See, they've done such a good job with the clicky, drag, draggy copy and paste. This version, the blueprinting, is just not clicking with me. It just seems a bit clunky and a bit counterintuitive. So actually, these need to be the other recipe, don't they? There we go. Well, that's not bad. The quick, quick copy and paste, or they've picked a weird key for it. Uh, so this should be. Da -da -da. Let's just check it runs okay. But yeah, I'd like to do a sort of a... Oh, there's something wrong there. What's happening? Oh, it's just not getting enough stuff in. No? Why are you not outputting? I guess because there's three lanes coming in and I'm sort of getting four out, but I'm not because eventually it'll back up and there you go. Because there's not enough machines to, oh, to fill it. Except also... I bet there's a bit of iron plate trapped in there, is there? I bet there's a bit of iron plate in there. Oops. I don't know if I fixed it, but it used to be really tedious. Yeah, I can actually see the iron plate there. Really tedious with connecting up these things. It used to be just bonkers. It's because Factorio blueprinting is, is super easy. Yeah. Oh. Managed to disconnect quite a lot of the miners there, but whatever. When did I do that? Uh, right, let's chuck... Yeah, I so say they sort of, it's like a swings and roundabout sort of thing, but they've kind of nailed it with this. So I say this shift copy thing is awesome. It's really, really good. Really, really clever. Super sensible way of doing it. Super easy to use. Um, Have I done something dumb there in that? Because you take one off. It's just that these. Why are they stacked up so massively with magnets? Do they take one and a half seconds to 
produce a magnet. Yeah, because that takes one second, so six machines should fill a belt. That takes one and a half seconds, so nine machines are needed to fill a belt. So I've got three, six, nine, and one extra. Just an artifact of it doing it, I guess. Hmm, whatever. Okay, so, blueprinting then. Yeah, it's, it's sort of clunky, this, like the whole... You know, Factoria Blue, they should have just shamelessly copied it, because, like this, I'm holding down the left left mouse, but that's not how it works. It works by a click one over there, click over here, and that, why? <laughs> that's not a sensible thing. It should just be a drag, because you drag to select the items, in like you do in Windows, because that's what everyone's learnt. Um, so this would be Boggy. Uh, magnets, let's call it that. Or magnet smelt, maybe. Let's call it that. And it's like, why do you have to in enter blueprint mode? You know, this is a separate mode in the game, and it doesn't doesn't seem necessary. Dare I say? I said it. They should have more shamelessly copied. <laughs> But then that whole thing of, you know, a blueprint is just a text file created on your, you know, in the folder. That's that's an excellent idea. No, I've put the wrong symbol, haven't I? There we go. So that's a, an excellent idea. I say, can I not? I don't know why that's separate. Still showing there? Because I've already moved it. I'll just leave them there for the minute. But like that, why, you know... Standard Windows functionality, drag and drop something. But I can't. And right-clicking doesn't give me a cut and paste option. I mean, that's that's a pair of scissors. But it's create blueprint. I mean, create scissors is cut, isn't it? But yeah, I don't. I don't. They need to. They need to have a little bit of a rethink on this one. I think. I think. So that's magnets. So for quit mode, and then we look at this. Yeah. Yeah, happy with that. This is all set. Yeah. Okay. Right then, so what do we need next? So that's the two or three super most basic things. Um, oh, yes. And switch that over. Cool. What next then? So... Hmm, what should we make next? So if we do... Something like gears. Because the idea with those, I would find, I would go and find the patches and stick them next to the patches, and then everything else is much more sort of centralised. You know, just sort of stamped next to each other. Yeah, so let's do gears next. Yeah. Because we could do st or stone break. Because that's one to one again, so we can use the same thing again. Now, let's go and find some stone break, because there should be some close by. Because uh, we also need stone for some recipes. Where the heck is... He says this on close by. And he is wrong. Here we go. It says I'm over there. Does it produce... Sorry, I'll probably, that was probably from earlier. One magnet. Yeah, so each... The recipe produces one magnet, magnet but it takes one and a half seconds to do so. Uh, as we're next to this... 
Let's just grab a bit of the old activated carbon stuff. Where was that stone? There we go. Righty. <coughs> there we go. Had to happen eventually. Right then. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll stamp that down again. The same basic idea. But that's one second again, isn't it? Yeah, so it's exactly the same thing, basically. So I suppose I could have a... more generic blueprint that I just, you know... set the recipes on each time, maybe? Maybe that would be a better way of doing it, really. Oh. Right, so this is not going to be this. This is going to be... The cough again. It's going to be stone. And stone brick. Now what I might do, because I don't actually... Oops, wrong button entirely. What I don't... You don't actually need that much stone brick. It's not used in any particular recipes as such. Just sort of foundations and a few buildings use them. Yeah, there you go. So they've got stone brick in them. But how many of them am I actually really going to make? Because I'm not going to go mega base scale on this. This is just a playthrough, you know. Yeah, so what I think I'll do... Because you do need a fair bit of stone. You know, because you, you need it for... Um, like sulfuric acid. So I think what I'll do, I'll sort of halve... You know, stone brick... The stone brick version. Yeah. We'll do that. Do, do, do. Yeah, I should copy them up as well, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. That's one of them. So. <coughs> No? What have you done then? So, this is going to be loggy. Stone. Brick. Not stone brick, stone brick. Loggy. Stone brick. Uh, and then we want one of them. In fact, I might change this. Oh. Two one. Two two. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. So there's all sorts of different layout options as well as. I just assumed it was a grid pattern, you know. Uh, what do we want then? So if we go with something like that. Oh, it must be so the one. So it's, that's the sub. Okay, so when it says. Why is that 2 2 though? And 1 2. Huh. That doesn't make sense then, does it? And why is that 3 by 2? Oh, it doesn't matter. So do that. And because stone brick is actually something I want to be moving around, no, I've got that in again. We want both stone brick, or rather, stone is something I want to be moving around as well. We want that on the icon. Okay. So happy with that. So what I also need to do then? No. 
How do I do I quit? Yeah, I'm not this is very, very clunky and I'm not not so keen. So if this is like the stone brick extension, so this is stone stone. Stone brick. Uh I've just call it two or something. I'm gonna have to come up with a naming convention, aren't I? Stone brick. And then it's just that. Save that. So the idea then, let's quit out on this. No, not. No, there we go. The idea then would be I would come on and I would say, right, plot that down. And then we, uh, we want more. There we go. More of them. You see, this is the other thing. Why does that not... Is it complaining about the land bill being not there? Maybe? So there's plenty of land there. I'm holding shift. I don't know if that's a mistake, is it? But the whole point is, is it collides with the other object. That's that's the point game. Okay, so if I make this... Uh, no, how do I edit it? No. Uh, Copy blueprint code. No, that can't be it. How the hell do you edit a blueprint then? Oh dear. It's painful. Seems like the blueprint blueprinting in this is unnecessarily complex. Yeah. I don't. It's not doing. It's not logical, you know? It's not. You know, it's got a button here, save changes. Well, the only changes I can make are mass deleting things. The right click to remove. Where's the button that lets me just edit the actual blueprint? What? How, how do I do that? Am I just am I just being dumb? Is that is it there and I can't see it? Because if I double click on this, well, if a single click, that's all I get. This, despite being... Unless maybe I have to, if I double click on it, maybe, and then hit Control C. No. No, that does a new blueprint altogether. There's got to be some way that it lets you overlap blueprints. That would be dumb if there isn't. But what I'm, what I'm thinking now, you see, is we go... Uh, if we... Take those bits out... Then I can at least put it on the side without it moaning. So, if I just call this more stone brick. Maybe, no, actually this is a new game. I was going to say maybe there's a tutorial if, if you're playing the game from new. But this is a new game and it didn't give me a tutorial. Right. So I've got that. Then I can at least plop it on the side there. But you see they're not connected. Which is obviously what I want. Dunno, lost. Because I'm now manually after going to connect all of those up, which is sort of defeating the point of blueprinting, isn't it, really? Because 
you know, I could do that in as many clicks, the entire belt, and then the shift copy, I could just stick those in straight away. So it's not really saving any time. I'm going to leave that extending part then, because there's got to be some better way of doing that. <clears throat> okay. I don't even know why I came over here then, if... It's a bit pointless. And that's a bit annoying, i got to say, the whole double-checking. I mean, I get it, but that's a bit annoying. Right. So, got a nice bit of land here. Let's use that. So, uh, can I base it off of another one? Let's just do it from scratch. Basically, so what we now want... If we're going to make... What's the time? Half six, okay. So if we're going to make gears, then... Oops, no, don't do that. We would want them coming in, but we want to demand them. Do we want to demand 5,000? Probably not. Mm, let's demand... It does chunk through them pretty quick, though. To do that, we want that there again, and that there. Interesting, it lets you put that closer than that. No. So, let me know. I'm trying to. I mean, you're right. I mean, you're right, Grim. It's it's way too like complicated for its own good. Um, but one of the things with this game is the whole issue that, you know, eventually we're going to need, you know, ridiculous numbers of, you know, um, iron gear wheels, even if we're building a relatively small build, um, to be practical, to make the, you know, the research is all the way down here, um, or to build a Dyson Sphere, we're going to need, a, a an absolute you know, boatload of, of iron gear wheels and, you know, because basically uh, these things, all of these things basically like have exponent, like multiple, it's that exponential, you know, quantity thing. So, you know, those use two of the turbines or whatever it calls them. They'll use, those use two of the motors. And those used, those used to, well, it's just one, one of the, the gear wheels, but what was that? So if that goes one to two, uh, to four, effectively, and then there's another one, isn't there? Or is that top level? But yeah, so, you know, just to make one of those, you know, you need, whatever that was, eight gear wheels. And then you use them in basically everything in the light game. I think they're in these things. Yeah, so that's got 50. It's got 50 of them in. So that's 400 gear wheels just in one of these. And we're going to need, you know, like 20 of those at the very least. So you need ridiculous quantities of, even if you're just playing normally. So we're going to need to stamp down like, you know, probably... 10 or 20 of these across various planets um, and that is that's even even you know the copy paste thing is convenient but to be able to just go to a planet plop that blueprint down and stick it and then just hook it all up it does save a lot it is going to save a lot of time but as I say they've made it I guess one of the points because they've got the upgrade thing I don't need you know loads and loads of you know, loads and loads of different things. I can just stick the upgrade because it's instantaneous and the bots don't do it, you do it and all that sort of stuff. So I don't, I'm not going to need to have, you know, a level one one, a level two one, a level three one. We can just use the same one. And there is only one planetary logistics one. Um, so yeah, the blueprints will save time in the long run. It's just that, yeah, actually building blueprints is is not not a good system. 
Um, and I suppose ultimately, you know. Um, all right, you off, uh, Grim. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'll be. I mean, I'll be. And thanks for the the well wishes. I'll be okay by next next week. I mean, um, I'm. I, I don't feel bad now. It's just. Full of snot, basically, but yeah, I mean, Satisfactory will go ahead as usual on Friday, and then Factorio Saturday and Sunday. I'll be starting my No Spoon run. If that's something you want to uh, pop in on as well, then it would be great to see you again. But uh, but yeah, thanks for joining me, and I uh, hope you have a good, a good evening, uh, rest of your week. What am I doing? I'm doing gear wheels, aren't I? Right, so they're made in assemblers rather than uh things aren't they so we can probably do the same trick though so if we put something like that because they're a bit bigger aren't they than smelters i mean yeah they're like a tile bigger but if we put um i forgot which way around i even did it Yeah, the output goes in the middle. Like that. And then you're going to be gear wheels. And they just take one second. They do. From one iron plate as well. Okay. So basically it's six again. There you go. So why does it let me overlap that? In the normal, you know, build mode. I think these are too close now, aren't they? Because in the, you know, drag copy mode, as it were. But it doesn't let me do it. Let's leave a little bit of room in case we need to do something funky. Now, will three machines will that work? So, if we put that down, yeah. are you all going to be? Let's check and see. Yeah, there's got to be a way to. Get it. Uh, uh, what you overlap the blueprints. It must just be because I was holding shift and stuff. It must just be like Alt key or something like that. What if I actually, have I actually arranged this over here? Yeah, I put it closer to the machine than the uh, than the station than the, the thing. Okay, so that's. At least keep that rough design consistency. I've put the belt the wrong way around because, of course, I have. Like yeah, there's also a thing, especially with it doing it in the way it has. It'll be a lot easier to copy stuff, you know, Factorio system of. Um, Blueprint copying is it's one of the reasons I tend not to do it. It's not very good. Um and you know, the, the having a my blueprint area area and game blueprint area and all that sort of stuff. Um is not as good as simply just relying on Windows Exploder, you know, functionality. But then I say if they've done that there. Why have they only done it there? Is that going to be... In fact, let's connect this up so that it's not guesswork. Not right over there. Has everyone got power? Oh, I need to set the recipe again, don't I? That's a, a nice noise. I like that noise. Right, let's copy you down. Are you powered? It can be a bit weird with the power. Looks like it. 
Yeah, okay. And then copy you down. Have you got everything? Oh, I didn't. I should have left this. Bum. Okay. Uh, I could just chuck the actual plate that I've got in, I guess. See what it does. You can make some gear wheels for me. <clears throat> oh, these these are slower, aren't they? That's right. Hang on. They do not operate at. Yeah, it's 0.75, so we need a quarter as many again. So we actually need four. Hmm, okay. And you won't reach all the way over, will you? No, you will not. Because if I take that out. Got another one up there. In fact, let's move the, Let's do the belt first. So my excuse, apologies to anyone listening. I, I have a cold. Uh, and uh, I'm getting a bit phlegmy and stuff. So my apologies for the horrible noises. Missed. So if I put you there. Oh, it will reach. Okay. Does everything reach or does it, it doesn't it miss this one? No? No? Looks like four's okay. And it's a full bell. Excellent. Excellente. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh all that up so it's like three of them over oops like that one two three up there i bet that's uneven on all the builds isn't it i bet i've got a bigger gap on that side than the other that's gonna annoy me if that's the case right and an input there nope. oh didn't set it like that Uh, one too far. Uh, yeah, so I'm hopeful this will save me time sort of in the long run, but yeah, I'm not not a fan of the Blueprints and uh, have strong feelings. Oh, I've got that in completely the wrong place. Brilliant. So why is that wrong? Oh, because I've not not left the gap. So I need one, two, three squares. One, two, three squares. Two, three. So it's there. Yeah, not fan, not not a fan of this compared to Factorio. No, I say I don't understand why it lets me do it with a shift click there. But it doesn't appear to on the other one. Why have you suddenly done that? So it's got got to be some way of doing it. I just it's just not obvious. Come on oh, you run out of iron plate, have you? Okay. That needed to be oh, it is demand. Okay. So if I'd left the thing in with the <laughs> plates in the, if I'd left this one up and running, but you know the bots would now be ferrying them over. But I didn't because I'm a plonker. I could plop it down. But then I'd have to root all the belts in. In fact, let's just do that, because 
this is basically where we're going to end for today. So, if we grab this blueprint. And we pop this, say, here. Will that be enough room? Oh, it's obviously a, that's obviously a very bad position for it. But it's just to test it, really. So pop it there. And then we'll oops, hook these back up. I don't know why it disconnected all of them, but it did. And hook that up to there. Oh. What have you done? I mean, you know, obviously I'm moaning about it. It's an early access game. They may well have some plan to do proper tutorials and stuff. This was just a implementation of the systems, you know. A dry run. <clears throat> okay, oops. Um, no. Why not? There we go. Oh, no. Nah. So yeah, I say the final final version it may well be a lot better. It may may need some may have some tweaking and we need to put some bots in if I'm going to test it from that point of view. Super duper. Oh. 27 meter long line. That's really efficient then, isn't it? 27 meters. Look at them all. I guess that's because it's set to the 10% thing. Min load of drones. In fact, I'll pull this down even further than the blueprint. Because I don't want it filling up with millions of millions of everything. Excuse me, but the point is, stuff is coming in. It is being processed. It is not going into the machine because I've set it too low. Cool, okay, so if I what's gonna be the easiest thing to do? Uh if I just cut this off. So yeah, so it works works and functions. And not that I wasn't expecting it to, but because it, we're, we're still at a relatively simple stage. Is that right? I need one more machine. It doesn't feel like the maths is right now. Because they each work, therefore, at 75%. So I don't think it is one more. I think it's like one and a third or something of a machine. Can't do, can't do the maths. I'm gonna blame that on the cold. <clears throat> yeah, cool. Happy with that. So, um, I so say I can also blueprint these. Oh no, I don't want that bit, do I? I want that bit. No? That bit. Uh, I'd say so I need a naming convention. Uh, like that. There you go. I guess you can stick it in the thing there by. So location of blueprint. For example, if you fill in blueprint name, it will save the blueprint file as blueprint name dot text. If you fill in blueprint book, blueprint name, it will ultimately create a folder named blueprint book. Okay. 
That's a bit clunky. Yeah, it's to describe. <laughs> describe its usage and features. Okay. Okay. So I need to get rid of that one, don't I? And that. And that. But yeah, you can't you can't drag and drop them over. Okay. And then I guess we want similar here. Although that's going to get more complicated, isn't it? Because the machine, the the fire high level machines, operate faster anyway. Or that there are there are high level machines, and they're like one and a quarter. I don't think I've even researched that yet. No. Then these aren't. Oh no, it is. No, it's level three. That's n more than double. Because that's one. That's one to two. So you just upgrade it, and it's twice as much, basically. But then that one, it goes to thirty, which is two of them plus one of those. So effectively, the blue belts are like five level ones rather than four level ones hmm. right yes so seven o'clock ish um now that i don't have factorio now that i'm not grinding away on the mega base on the factorio um it's my intention to play both this, this and satisfactory during the week a bit more um i've already done a bunch of stuff in satisfactory uh, ahead of Friday. Um, slight caveat to that is whether I'm really feeling much gaming this week at all um, is a question, but I'm sure I'll recover in a couple of days. I'm being very dramatic, very very man flu, over the top type reaction to a, a, a little cold. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, we'll be back next Monday with more Dyson Sphere program. I say, if I do play during the week, I'll certainly try and figure out how to make the blueprints attach to themselves properly. Because um, that could get quite annoying, that. Um, and we could always just have a bigger blueprint with more stuff on it, but that seems to defeat the object a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll probably, st I'll probably do more of these. So I'll probably do... What I'll try and do is I'll do blueprints for the basics. So, you know, I'll get magnetic coils, blueprint, we'll get um, stone. In fact, we could go and have a look. Well, I'm sort of, I'm almost stalling for time because what I really need to do. Because there's a second, there's a whole second layer to this, but what we can do is we can build up the planets. Um, to produce, you know, what they can, as it were, and what's sensible for them to produce in this solar system. And then... This isn't it, is it? No, it's the other other one over here. And then... At some point, we have. Here we go. In fact, we've got five of them. And we got loads of these stacked up, so I can stick some more of them on. Brilliant. Um, we can. We need the blueprints for the interplanetary versions, because um, you can. They're like an upgraded planetary, basically. It's a bit, yeah, a bit questionable sometimes whether you really need the planetary ones. But I tend to do it more like a spoke approach, where. Oop. Well, I don't use these guys. You have established an interstellar logistics station I have. and opened the first node of logistics transportation among the planets. Mm. With it, no need to transport cargo between planets manually anymore. Just set to remote supply in the site on the raw material supply planet. The logistics vessel will bring the cargo to the other planets with corresponding remote demand sites accordingly. Setting local supply and demand can also inherit the functions of ordinary logistics station at the same time. Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever you mean there. Uh, but basically, yeah, these are basically like an upgraded 
Planetary Logistics is station if you've never seen them. So they have five slots now. Um, they only still have the nine inputs and outputs though. There's, you don't gain any of them. Um, but you can also you can do the local transport of stuff with these as well. You know, as well as the interplanetary and intergalactic intersolar system rather um, transport with these guys. Um, and you can set some things that limit which planets they go to. But I've tended to before have basically like a hub approach where essentially you get these guys to do a load of local stuff. Um, so we wouldn't be transporting iron plate, you know, copper plate necessarily. We might do um, around via these. We do it via these. Um, and instead we make higher level materials. Um, I say we may have to because the planets tend to be uneven in their resources. Um, deliberately, and I'm guessing that's what they're pushing you for. But this guy, you see, has got um, not very much iron. And then this one has got not very much copper. So we couldn't really make, um, you know, uh, anything that uses copper, particularly on this planet. You know, we, we would run out of copper too quickly. So we may end up transporting relatively low level material, you know, iron plates and iron gear wheels and that sort of thing, to maybe our main planet and then making the more complicated stuff on the planet and tending to favour that rather than local production of the smaller or lower level material. Um, I say, that's where I'm thinking perhaps we go to another solar system because it will be to some extent easier to do like that level of production on a solar system that has like more even and bigger volumes on the planets um, we would have to find one with organic stuff on it and blah 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 but um, I'm wondering if it's easy just to up sticks to another solar system um, and sort of build, you know, a planetary and interplanetary logistic system there that ha that makes, like, up to, say, mid-tier materials. And then, basically, these planets are more about... Um, we could probably dedicate to science or something like that um, and have everything, you know, like motors and magnetic coils and stuff being flown in um, instead of made locally. But I need to kind of think about that. Um, but yeah, so I say next time that's what we'll be getting on to. Um, I'm not gonna I say we need some of these, but um, yeah, that's a bit annoying. That, um, and we'll need separate blueprints for them. And but I say I need to decide how I'm doing it. Um, I don't, yeah, so I say that's what we'll be doing next time. So, yeah, so if you have been, um, watching along uh, then thanks for doing so if you've been chatting then thanks for doing so um all very much appreciated and uh, good to see people here and watching and um chatting etc etc uh i'm trismegistus i stream fridays saturdays sundays and mondays monday is this one the dyson sphere program friday is satisfactory um saturday and sunday is though is my main streaming series the two on uh, Friday and Monday tend to be just two hours. Um, it's sort of after work type, just a bit of fun, basically, um, with some less um, uh, intense series, basically. Um, you know, Satisfactory and this, well, this Combat in Satisfactory, but it's a bit more chill um, overall. My main, you know, the main game I stream is Factorio, uh, which I stream, as I say, Saturday and Sunday. Um, three to six, three hour streams on Saturday and Sunday. Um, I'm about to start a series where I try and do a no spoon run. So basically, I'm trying to um, hit the two achievements that I, the only two achievements I don't have, which are the there is no spoon achievement um, and the other one I can never remember the name of, which is which are the two speed run, <laughs> eight hour and 15 hour playthroughs. Uh, intention is to basically play the game through to make a base that will launch a rocket. It probably won't, it'll take longer than 15 hours, but then I then basically blueprint it and restart 
and try and just build that exact blueprint without having to figure anything out basically and just make the um, uh, the rocket as quick as I can hopefully within eight hours um, and yeah it's basically because I've done a series that was my first attempt at a mega base and it took a gigantic amount of time and effort um, so I want to do the exact opposite which is a quick playthrough uh, I also have Twitter uh, at Trismagistus up here uh, and uh, YouTube they're both alias to Triggles, though, so you're looking for Trisma tri Triggles. All of the VODs for all of my series go up on my YouTube channel if you want to catch up or see any of them back. So, yeah. If you haven't watched, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed it and you might consider coming back for another one. I've been Trisma Gistus. This has been Nice to See Program. Thanks for watching. Cheers.